Hello everyone, welcome back to channel SciTech. In this video, I'm going to do the CPU totaling test comparison between the Dimensity 9000 processor versus Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2 processor. So this Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2 processor, which has been recently released in the Poco F5 device, and the Dimensity 9000 processor, which is from the OnePlus Nord 3 device. So this is the OnePlus Nord 3, and this is the Poco F5 device. And now I'm going to do the side by side comparison in the CPU totaling test. So now by going to the settings option, we can actually enable the high performance mode between these both phones so where you can actually find in the battery options so let me change the live wallpaper first and right now the live wallpaper has been changed and now let me go, go to the battery option and try to change the high performance mode so right now both processes are using with the high performance mode and all the apps are completely clear from the background RAM management and now let me go to the settings option of the CPU totaling test and I'll try to do the, the test for about 15 minutes of time just 15 minutes, I'm trying to do the test between these both uh, processors. So Dimension 9000 versus Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2. And now we're going to see the performance regarding the overall CPU totaling test results and how is the temperatures and how is the graph going to be there in this both smartphones. So let's get started. So right now as you can see this is how the graph looks like between the Dimension 9000 processor versus Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2 using with the high performance mode, OnePlus Nord 3 and the Poco F5 device. So all this is what the difference you can actually expect between the OnePlus Nord 3 versus Poco F5 device in terms of the CPU totaling test using with the high performance mode. So definitely slightly more uh, slot throttling is happening in the OnePlus Nord 3 with the high performance mode when compared with the Poco F5 device. And the temperature is close to 42 degrees and 41 degrees in the Poco F5. You can see the difference how it is between these both phones and I'm going to be back after some time. And after getting close to exact 15 minutes, this is how the throttling is between these both phones. As you can see, it's 72 percentage in the Poco F5 and 61 percentage in the OnePlus Nord 3. So Dimension 9000 processor is having slightly more uh, throttling issues in this OnePlus Nord 3 than the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2. So both phones are used with the high performance mode and you can see the performance numbers. So Dimension 9000 processor is having slightly high performance scores. So but still there is a lot of throttling is going on. So meanwhile signing off friends thank you for watching our instead of more updates and bye